Hi everyone, I know I haven't made a video in a while. I haven't read many books in a while, and plus my camera, my flip video, is messing up. It's possessed. But anyway, I have a book review for an amazing book. It's called One Foot Wrong by Sophie... I'm gonna probably say this wrong. Laguna or Laguna, I don't know. But anyway, this book, there are two, there's two words to describe this book. Psychologically creepy. This book is phenomenal. It is her first adult novel. And she is an Australian author. And she's, it says in the back that she's written for children and young adults, but I've never heard of her and I've never read any of her books. So this is her first book that I've read of hers. And it is awesome. Okay. Now on to the review. One Foot Wrong is about a young girl named Hester Wakefield who has a very interesting childhood. <sighs> she is very isolated and her parents don't let her out of the house. She's never been out of the house. She's only seen the outside world through a window, you know, looking out from her house. Her parents are very, very religious, extremely religious. Hester only has one possession. And that is a like illustrated Bible for kids, and she has like a hymn book too. So that's like her only possession besides her clothes. So she doesn't go to school. She doesn't go outside. What she does all day is pretty much what her parents tell her to do, like chores and like religious practices and that. And if she misbehaves, she gets hung. Like you know how Jesus was hung on the cross. They have a room and... Alright, sorry. My sub video, again, it turns off for no reason. It, like, just draining the batteries for some reason. I think it's breaking. But anyway, that's what I was saying. So when Hester misbehaves and stuff, she um, gets hung and tortured like that. And, of course, no one's going to know about this because she, they, she doesn't go anywhere. Like, she watches her parents go in and out, but she doesn't go anywhere. So And she doesn't talk to anybody, so no one will ever find out. But, in order to help with her time, she has inanimate objects that are her friends, like a door handle, a broom, a cat, and it's written in the story like they talk. So the door handle convinces her to open the door, to the, you know, to the outside. And she does, and that kind of changes her whole perspective on life. And, but she doesn't tell anybody. Her parents weren't paying attention for some reason, they, they weren't realizing that she had, like, escaped. But she doesn't go anywhere, she just goes in the yard and stuff, and she keeps that a secret. So she's a very interesting character, Hester is. Um, she doesn't know anything. She only knows what the parents told her. But, I, didn't, I don't want to spoil anything, but anyway, I'll just tell you. If you don't want to be spoiled about this book and you don't want to hear anymore, turn it off. But anyway, one day, um, like a social worker comes to the house. And anytime anyone comes to the house, Hester has to run and hide and pretend she's not there. Um, but long story short, they find out and she has to get sent to school. And yeah. Um, I forgot I was completely with where I was going with that. But yeah, so she goes to school and like the kids and the teacher are kinda like, Oh, well, what's her you know, what's her deal? She doesn't really know anything. She doesn't know how to do anything. So yeah, and the book kind of goes through, um, like she starts off like a preschooler and then she gets older and then she gets to, um, 18 years old, so you kind of see that, but, and it's just kind of her realizing that the world that she was living in isn't normal, like, isn't normal, and she discovers these little secrets and she learns that there are two types of secrets. A secret with just one person and a secret with two people. And so she doesn't tell anybody this. And, and then eventually she gets sent back from school because she um, tried to reenact her own punishment that she gets at home at school. So they really think she was disturbed, so they send her away. And yeah, when she's 18 years old, she's in this mental institution. And some things happen, and the ending, my, uh, wasn't expecting that at all. This book is so scary and creepy, not in, like, a horror kind of way, and 
a mental kind of way. Um, Hester is such, it's such a unique world and a unique plot that it's not really like a plot, I should say. It's not really. It's um, it's kind of like a story. And it's written through Hester's point of view. So that's interesting. And through reading the book, you get to understand like why Hester thinks this way and why she says the most bizarre things and why she thinks the most bizarre things. It's because, for one, she doesn't know anything different. So whatever, she, you know. Oh my goodness. I need to stop touching my face, too. But anyway. Um, yeah, I definitely recommend this book. This book was so good. And it's not even that long. It's only 194 pages, so it's pretty quick to read. It's the text. Um, and it does say in the back that it's being edited, uh, made into a movie. This would make a great movie, honestly. Um, yeah, it's just so creepy. You still want to keep reading, even though you're like, the imagery in this is awesome. Like, through Hester's eyes, you really get to know Hester. And that name itself, Hester, just fits the character, fits the little girl. So, yeah. That is my rant, or not rant, rave on One Foot Wrong. And as I said in my library hall when I showed this book, the cover, gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, yeah. That's all I have to say about it. Check it out, definitely. Um, you won't be disappointed. And there's also, I found, like, a promo of it, kind of, from the publisher on YouTube, uh, Other Press. It's in my favorites. I might put the link in the down bar so you can check it out, the promo. The promo is awesome, too. So, yeah. That is my book review for One Foot Wrong. Check it out. Oh, I didn't even say... Um, I didn't even say what I was giving it. I was giving this a five. Of course. It's awesome. Check it out.